Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I share everything related to Operation Christmas Child. Today I have an unboxing for a boy 10 to 14. I know this age group can be a challenge, but I hope this box will encourage and inspire you. So I'm calling this one Talking Baseball. And this is a baseball themed shoebox. I did one of these last year, but I'm, I decided to do another one. I just packed it this past weekend. And I have a little baseball on the end that lets me know that this is that particular box. Um, I have a big rubber band on here and I have a label right here that I've labeled it boy 10 to 14. So when he opens his box, he will see some valentines on the top, just some baseball valentines, and then there's a bandana covering up most of the items inside. So let's take a peek. So right on top he has a baseball pencil case that I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, and on the, um, on the little zipper pull I have a cross that I got from Hobby Lobby. He has several pencils, some are sharpened, and a blue, a black, and a red pen. Mm, nothing out of the ordinary, just normal pencils and some Ticonderoga, but plenty of school supplies for him. Okay, he has um, one of these little tools that I got from Dollar Tree. It is a, um, it's a pen, a stylus, a level, a Phillips screwdriver, and a flat screwdriver all in one. And these are just the directions to go with it, so he knows what to do with it. He has a deodorant. Uh, he has a bouncy ball. This is from the Washington Nationals. I actually purchased a lot of these items. I had some credit from my season tickets to the Nationals to use up, so I used them up to buy items for this box. So um, it sort of was free, <laughs> sort of, um, in a roundabout way, but, um, but that was from the stadium. Uh, he has a set of Legos, and in the Legos I have some baseball men, people. I actually want to add a few more if I can find a few more. I only had two in my stash, so I want to find some more. But that's just a nice little supply of Legos. He has a little baseball egg. And in the egg, I just stuck his sharpeners. He has a metal sharpener and a car. The cars are from Oriental Trading and these are from Amazon. And then I stuck in a little surprise, an eagle, which is one of the mascots for the Washington Nationals, the American Eagle. So I thought that was a good idea. All right, he has this little strike bag. And in here, he has another Lego set. This is actually, um, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby, but this actually builds a car. So these are all the instructions. So he has that also. He has one of those little baseball caps that you get at the ballpark. And he can use that just for decoration or to hold his Legos while he's sorting them. His stuffy is an actual Washington Nationals bear that I got at the ballpark. And he's really cute and soft. It says, Go Nationals. And he is red, white, and blue. And it's got like a little clip on here to hang it up if he wants to hang it up. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the bandana is a sports bandana that I love that I got from Oriental Trading. And I've been using them in quite a few of my boxes. So it has like soccer ball, a baseball bat, a volleyball, a football helmet, a football, um, just a nice sports bandana. All right, he has an actual baseball. Um, this is a real baseball. It shows him how to throw a fastball and a curveball with his fingers and it's an ESPN Future Pro Ball. I think I got this one at Walmart, but it's a really nice quality. He has a whistle and a lanyard. One of our um, mascots also is a shark. We sing a shark song, 
and so I gave him a pencil with a shark on it. <coughs> he has a little spiky shark and I get these from RaymondGettys.com. I stuck in here a little um, Marvel character, Captain America, just because the colors were kind of red, white, and blue. He has a set of Crazy Art colored pencils, an Uno card game from the Dollar Tree. He has two cars, and these are really cool because this is a baseball car, if you can see. It looks like a baseball. This one is too. It's got baseball emblems on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. I have a baseball eraser that was stuck in there. He has a baseball lanyard, not a lanyard, but like um like a keychain sort of. And I got that from Sheen.com. Very inexpensive. His hygiene bag has a mending kit, a bar of soap, nail clippers, nail files, a um, lip balm, and I stuck his eraser in there. He has a highlighter, a blue Sharpie, some baseball scissors. Those are from Walmart. I got on clearance. And he has a pair of red, white, and blue socks. And in the socks, I've tucked a pair of really cool sunglasses for him. And these were from Walmart. I think I got them for a dollar. And they're 100% UV protection. So pretty cool. Uh, let's make some room. All right, let's take these out. So this is his... Um, his composition book and it's a baseball lenticular isn't that cool I got that last year from Dollar Tree I haven't seen them since but I just thought they were so cool they came in soccer football and baseball and this is my last baseball one but I really love that and then I created this folder for him and in the folder I've given him some more paper and I actually included graph paper this time so I have a bunch of graph paper in there for him. And then on the left side, he has some stickers. He has a bookmark that says, Great is the Lord. Some fun um, stickers, transformers. These are some sports stickers. Just some animals, more sports, and some sharks and tigers. So pretty nice assortment. All right, and then underneath that, he has a Washington's National Lanyard that I also got at the ballpark. That could be very useful for him. I stuck in one of these little number one fan fingers. Those are from um, Valentine's Day two years ago. He has a pair of underwear that has actually has sharks on them. So one of the songs we sing at Nationals Park is the Baby Shark song. Um, and it it's, was pretty popular during the World Series, so that's why we have all the sharks in this box. He has a ruler, a six inch and centimeter ruler, another eraser from Pen and Gear. His shirt is from Walmart. I got it for, I think, $2. And this is an extra large. And it has this baseball guy and a bat. Looks like they're playing video games on a computer. <laughs> but it's really cute and it's sleeveless. And it's that real soft material. So it's very easy to pack in a box. I really like these and I like to look for them when they go on clearance. Okay, he has a toothbrush with a cap. He has one of my favorite washcloths in gray and white. It has like scalloped edges and it's very, very soft. Okay, he has one of those flying frisbees in red. He has a very special comb. I get those from Amazon. 
just really nice quality. Um, let's see, on the side I have a postcard from the state of Maryland in our photo, our family photo. I just slid in a few things in the back. He has a twister maze, a baseball uh, sticker, it's like a gem sticker. And then this is some instructions on his baseball, how to grip the baseball. I also have in here a tote bag from the Washington Nationals. This was actually a promotional item that we got. So this was free. It was a pretty nice tote with a little pool drawstring at the top. So the last thing in his box is a mini doodle coloring pad, which I really like. Um, I saw these on Charlotte Shoebox's YouTube channel and she's in the UK and you can tell that the word coloring is spelled differently than we spell it in the US. Um, I had a hard time finding these but I finally found them on eBay for a pretty good price. So they're just at the right size and um, the pictures are great for doodling for an older boy. So I've included one of those. So thank you Charlotte. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I'm a big baseball fan, so I love packing baseball boxes. Um, so thank you so much for watching. That completes my unboxing for boy 10 to 14, talking baseball. I, I encourage you to pack for this age group. It is really needed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. Keep packing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.